Archmagus, weaponizing the truth is the greatest injustice humanity has ever known, dude. And this is why I love the Lord and I'm a believer. Back to a simple phrase that Jesus said in the Bible, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And then zeroing in on that, he says that he is the truth. And he's like, open my eyes about this. Like, to me, there's like small truths, meaning like what color of shirt am I wearing? Like, I'm wearing a beige carded cardigan. That's a small truth. But nonetheless, it's true. And then there's the big truths, you know, who made the universe? Who is God? Is there a God? All the, the bigger questions, you know. Connecting it back to this, uh, the fact that there's an assault on truth. Like in the year 2024, in free America, where apparently we have freedom of speech, we have like the greatest tool for communication, the internet and social media. And it's like, it's like, I'm not saying Nazis because I don't like the way that word's thrown around, but it is Nazi-esque to like see this, like this pull towards totalitarianism and like dictatorship like after everything I learned in school and everything they taught us about the Nazis and the Holocaust like to see that this is a thing again you know I'm like it makes my faith stronger because like the God of the Bible he is the great I am He's seen humanity go through its ups and downs and ups and downs. And he's like, you're just experiencing your little, so far for me, 42 years on this planet. You know, I'm like, this is crazy. And God's like, I was there for like the Holocaust. I was there when uh, World War One. Uh, I was there in the Byzantine Empire, you know. So this on a grand scale is nothing new. But for me and my generation and younger people and even older generation, this is like unprecedented times. Like we haven't seen this in this country to, to this extent in a minute. Archmagus, God bless us and please God protect us all. Amen. And he will. And he promises, he promises us this. Last week when I was in church, you know, the pastor basically preached on like if you're waiting for any government of man to save you keep waiting because all empires come to an end and he even he said the byzantine empire was 600 years the roman empire was 400 years um america's about 250 years you know and ultimately the sermon was about jesus is coming back one day to establish a permanent kingdom his perfect kingdom and his perfect rule. So the pastor at church was saying, so when you see all this injustice and it makes you mad and it makes your blood boil and, and you think like evil people are getting away with things, the pastor at my church was like, trust me, they're not getting away with anything. It might not, it might not be tonight. It might not be tomorrow, you know, but he's coming back one day. And wrongs will be made right. And, oh, dude, I'm getting goosebumps, dude. Archmages, internet made us all too smart and the government didn't like it. So they introduced things for us to be afraid of, to introduce censorship. They even threw aliens at us. They know we are powerful. Dude, That I've been thinking the last few days I had that thought, Archmages. Same exact thought. I thought, us masses, us middle class, lower class, poor people, if we all banded together, they would have a huge problem on their hands. And they know that. You know what I mean? So I totally believe there's something going on, man. Um, I didn't used to believe in this kind of stuff, and I thought it was so silly, but, dude, I believe there is an elite group of people in the world, people with power and money that are way behind the scenes, the presidents of the countries, including ours, are just these little mouthpieces or they're the mask they put in front of us, the masses, to make us think, oh, yes, the president of America, he's in control of the free world. We've heard that. So, 
as the leader of the free world. Uh, you can't say it on TV, dude. Archmagus with the purple with the purple heart in the chat, and then said 100%. It it reminds me of the Wizard of Oz, man. And ever since COVID, we've got a peek behind the curtain. We're starting to. We're, what's going on back here? And it's just Joe Biden eating ice cream in his pajamas. You know what I mean? In his skinny, blonde, his skinny ankles with his blonde hair, gray hair. What? Well, kidding? Blonde hair? Are you kidding me, dude? 